So last night I posted a video, Northern California, officials warning of massive flooding and rock slides and mudslides, and in areas where people lost their homes like Santa Rosa, it was the atmospheric river dump. I, when, when did we start calling rain atmospheric river? Uh, I, and I guess that's because the atmospheric river is like a thousand miles and that's the uncommonness of the atmosphere. Look, we have had now, it's now common that we have storms that go on for over a thousand miles from inside the Gulf all the way through the United States into Canada. That, that's a common pattern now. Okay, so I'm trying to understand what happened in Northern California. I need you guys in Northern California to let me know because it looks to me like you got rain. You got rain. But I just want to point out, you know, the articles that were, oh, these officials and the, and the, the uh, flood barriers that they were in, the monitoring of the storm drains and the um, a month's worth of rain will hit California this weekend. This is in Wired. It was posted yesterday at 1.30 p.m. Yes, the atmospheric river, over a thousand miles of water and wind. All right. Well, I'm trying to find some information about the devastation that might have occurred, the floods, the uh, Northern California drenched by Pineapple Express. No major problems were reported after the heaviest rain from the atmospheric river of subtropical moisture moved through from Hawaii last Friday. So it moved through from Hawaii, moved through California, and nothing happened. But flood warnings and watches remain in effect Saturday for the Sierra Nevada, the Santa Cruz Mountains, south of San Francisco, and other areas. Flights were canceled. The baseball game was canceled. Yosemite, oh, campers, you leave by 5 p.m. That was yesterday. No one can get into Yosemite. It was that bad. And then I come across this, um, this video, Northern California rains rise, raise rivers and flood concerns. All right, let's watch this. This, this was today. All right, looks like it rained. It looks like it rained. Not quite the atmospheric dump they were expecting. Atmospheric river dump. It looks like it rained. Okay. Um, okay. Well, now they're saying that they're going to be getting an awful lot more rain. And we're expecting heavier rain tonight and into tomorrow. And this heavy rain is expected to increase the river level. And this is both the rain that will fall, but also it's a very warm storm. And so the rain will fall on the snow. And that will accelerate the amount of water in the river, which will lead to the river rising. Thank you very much for that. Have you ever noticed adults in America, kind of, it's, well, the infantilization that I noticed happening in the very early 80s has really taken on uh, this exaggeration that is, is kind of, well, far from annoying. It's, it's rather repulsive. You know, I go to see this elderly neighbor who, and, well, that doesn't matter. Um, she's got a dog, and I go over, and I play with the dog. And she's got the TV on, and it's my 600-pound life or this reality TV about grossly overweight or obese people. Um, but the commercials, they're... 
I'd say virtually every commercial. Adults acting like just immature idiots. Men, wow. It's fascinating to see how men, I mean, the, the boys growing up today, this is their example, acting like abject, uh, childlike, immature, moronic idiots who, where is there an example of maturity? Has this just, have you noticed <laughs> that something is not right? Even how this guy is talking. And, in, and the affect also, it's kind of bizarre. You know, people who have lost their child in a horrible mass shooting. The same day, they're on mainstream media, calm and composed. This guy, and then the rain, well, it's warm, and it hits the snow, and, well, it's going to raise the rivers with a smile like, oh, oh, well, I just, I, our country really is flipping mad. So he talks about heavy rains tonight. Where are they coming from? Where are they coming from? Because... I don't see anything coming into into Northern California, and these storms up here in Seattle and into Idaho, well, they're heading in a northeasterly direction. So, and it does not look like much rain is happening. Um, In Northern California, certainly. In fact, it doesn't look like much at all. You got these pockets of snow, which I suppose could happen in the mountains. Little, little areas of snow surrounded by rain. Um, well, it's warm, okay. But I don't see anything coming in. Yes, officials are still concerned about flooding. From what? North of Los Angeles has some rain. I guess that's good. You guys need rain. But the way they're talking, man. Woof! Floods, rock slides, rock slides, um, mud slides. You got the ultra low frequencies being, wow. Every, every weather uh, front now has some ultra low frequencies shooting through it. Everyone. And yes, of course, if there is precipitation, oh, and you got some ultra low frequencies down here going off in, uh, I guess, just south of Bakersfield. Yep, not natural. Mother Nature does not work in defined lines. She works in a circular pattern. So whenever you see these defined lines, you can know that it's man at work. And Seattle and Portland area, Oregon, Washington, whenever you guys get precipitation, you seem to be always hit with ultra low frequencies. Can't get away from it there. But I have to tell you, uh, and I'm not saying anything that I haven't heard from people in Washington, from people in Oregon, from people in California. You've got a whole lot of crazy out there. And you have to wonder if they're using these ultra low frequencies to do it, to create that crazy. So here, yeah, going off Portland. And you got intersecting frequencies, which they could that could wreak an awful lot of destruction. Uh, the, whole, the whole area is just set off in frequencies. So, were they hoping to get an atmospheric river dump and they fail? Or did they stop the atmospheric river from dumping? Because really, 
Ah, they want that drought, you guys. But look at this. I mean, come on. Look at this massive ultra low frequency bombing of this entire area. And as you can see, ultra low frequencies, wow, they can steer them and they can shoot them off. And the range is woo into Canada, into Canada. Oops. And guess what? Canada and United States, uh, the ultra low frequencies in Canada and the United States are mating. Look. Oh, how nice. Now they had earthquake, an earthquake in Los Angeles, I think a 5.3. They had an earthquake in Oklahoma, and, well, ultra-low frequencies can cause earthquakes. So everything that's happening, um, will continue to happen because we can't get through to anybody because everybody is a child here in America. I'd like to be in America. It's okay for me in America. Everything free in America. Utah. Ultra low frequencies. So I do not see how you're going to be getting any heavy rains tonight. Um, unless they hold this little, these fragments of rain that you've got going now and blow them up with frequencies. The satellite doesn't really, you know, show all that much. Where is the storm going to be coming from? Oh, well, you got chemtrailing and it's clear going on, the geoengineering. Absolutely. But where is it coming from? Let me know what's going on, guys. There's still, officials are still <laughs> Concerned about the Oroville Dam. Now you do, you'll have that melting snow. That the Oroville Dam, I'm, I'm afraid, will always be a concern now. But I just don't see how. Okay, mainstream media. Uh, the juxtaposition between reality and what mainstream media reports is getting. Getting, it's just crazy making. You know, people who just say things that are so not true, they're crazy making. Mainstream media. It, it's, it's, it's almost like everybody is a drama queen using this exaggerated language. Exaggeration is a lie, by the way. It's a lie. The lies, deception, everything. It, it's it's going to get worse, guys. It's not going to get better. But it's when I think about posting these videos and I think, okay, do I want to say nothing happened? I can't. I'm not there. That is now what needs. It's a requirement. Whenever you're reporting on anything that's happening anywhere, you either have to get people in that area to tell you what's going on and you've got to trust them or you have to be in that area. So, Northern California subscribers, weigh in, please. Let us know. Are you flooding out? Are you unable to, you know, dig out your car from a mudslide? Please let us know. Thank you. I sure hope all of you are safe and nothing did happen.